Consider the motion of a car on a banked road. Let this be a banked road and there is a car uh, on the on that moving through that moving on that banked road. Let this be the front view of the car. The different forces acting on the car are first one the weight acting vertically downward mg where m is the mass of the car. The normal reaction on the car this reaction will always be perpendicular to the surface and there will be a frictional force a frictional force acting in this direction friction always act between the tires and the roof so all these components can be resolved so this r since this is equal to theta this r can be resolved one in the perpendicular direction and one in the horizontal direction if this is theta this angle will be theta so this is equal to r cos theta and this will be r sin theta r sin theta similarly resolving the friction there will be a component in this direction and there will be a component in this direction i'll draw it in here here this is the frictional force actual frictional force acting between the tire and the road so if this is theta this angle will be that is this angle will be theta so this is equal to f cos theta and this will be f sin theta so this is equal to f sin theta and this is equal to f cos theta clear now there is a centripetal force and uh, centripetal force to the center and the center will provide a centrifugal force in this direction and we have expression for centrifugal force is equal to mv square by r so these are the different forces acting on the car moving on a bank foot here theta is the banking angle now consider consider the equilibrium equilibrium of the car of the car we have net upward forces the different net upward forces is equal to net downward forces that is what are all the what all are the forces acting in the downward direction we have one f sin theta and mg so f sin theta plus mg is equal to the upward force is only r cos theta r cos theta clear let's call that as equation number one now consider the horizontal motion of the car horizontal equilibrium of the car we have the horizontal forces acting on r sin theta and f cos theta therefore f cos theta plus r sin theta is equal to this force is equal to the net force on the right direction these two are towards the left and this one is the right so net forces on the left is equal to net force on the right that is mv square divided by r clear so this call this as equation number two now in order to solve this you just rearrange this one equation number one we have mg is equal to or you can write on rearranging the equation one we have uh, r cos theta minus taking this f sin theta to the right f sin theta is equal to mg call that as equation number three i'm just rearranging the terms taking this mg to the right no this f sin beta to the right so it will be mg equal to r cos theta minus f sin beta clear now what you need to do is divide the equation 2 divided by 1 with 3 equation 2 divided with 3 so this will be f cos theta plus r sin beta divided by r cos theta 
minus f sin beta is equal to mv square divided by r divided by mg. So the equation will become we have let's take r let's take r sin theta first r sin theta plus f cos theta divided by r cos theta minus f sin theta equal to you can write this one as mv square divided by r m g clear you can cancel this m and this m now here on the left side you just divide every term with every term with n r cos theta so what you get that is i am dividing each term on the left side with r cos theta so r sin theta by r cos theta plus f cos theta divided by r cos theta numerator is over then the denominator r cos theta divided by r cos theta minus f sin theta divided by r cos theta on the right side it is only v square divided by r g clear now this r and r will get cancelled sin theta by cos theta is tan theta plus this cos theta and cos theta will get cancelled this is equal to f divided by r here also the entire term will get cancelled so there is only one minus this f by r sin theta by cos theta equal to tan theta is equal to v square divided by rg but you know by the law of friction we have frictional force by normal reaction will always be coefficient of friction we know this result that is coefficient of friction will be the frictional force divided by the normal reaction so so let's write the v square by rg term first that is v square by rg is equal to tan theta plus this will be mu friction coefficient of friction by 1 minus here f by r is mu mu tan theta so v square will be rg times tan theta plus mu divided by 1 minus mu tan theta or v equal to v equal to taking to the taking the square to the right it will be root root of rg times tan theta plus mu divided by 1 minus mu tan theta so this is the expression for velocity of a body or a, or a car or a vehicle on a banked road Clear.